Hi everyone, welcome to today's video. For today's uh, video, I am going to show you how to share an Excel file that is created from your MS Teams to somebody else or to yourself going to a local or a desktop Excel version. So here I have MS Teams and once you have your your team chat or your group chat you can actually create a an excel file okay in your ms teams so let's say that i'm going to have our sample file and then click create of course you can also do this procedure for excel files that are already created for your teams so i'm just creating one right now for the sake of this video so let's say that i have here a month and then say going to put in some of our months here and then let's say that i need to coordinate with different departments and i need to share this file to uh, to them so now i have this file and let's put some sample numbers just for the sake of uh, demonstration and once you have your file created in ms teams so take note that this is actually saved in your sharepoint so your organization should have a sharepoint okay with your ms teams and this is also an auto save file because this is an online file technically so you should see that everything is automatically saved you do not have to look for the save button because it is already saved once you edit something and once you are done with the document you can then click on the share button here and you could actually go straight to copy link and then just send the link to the other people however take note that if you do this this is only for people in your organization so as you could see here this is the default that i have only people in my organization can edit the file and you'll see that you could actually be more specific about who can have access to this uh, file either people who already has an access or just specific people and one option is actually to publicly share the file to anyone with the link however most organizations will not allow this so like mine but the procedure is the same anyway this is more of like sets the uh, permissions that are allowed okay or who are allowed to access your file once you have the link so once you have that you can share the link to other people either by sending them via email or via chat or whatever or however however you want to send it or you could also share okay using this button and you could send an email to other people in your organization so that they can receive the link as well. So once you've sent the link, you can then open that link in your browser. So I'm opening a browser right now. So I have my link here that I copied. Take note that this is going to be the same link that will be emailed to the other people that you will email the link to in case you use the second option of sharing and you will see that it opens in an excel online okay in your browser so once you have this you can then go to your uh, local excel file by going to file and then under file you need to look for info so file info and then you can see here there's an option to open it in the desktop app so click open in desktop app and your excel um, will open so mine is currently opening right now and you should see that i now have the file opened in my local version of excel to my installed app so let's say that i'm going to make some changes to the excel file so you should see that i have the 
online version here and I have the version that is incorporated in MS Teams, the original one. And I'm now going to edit the one in the Excel file. So I'm saying I'm going to add here a number, say 999. And let's see what happened in the desktop version. So take note that it's not automatic as you saw there, it just popped up. So there's going to be a bit of a delay in updating the other versions that's expected. And you should see that there's this uh, icon here that shows some in that cell and it's just, well, it's also me, but if you have other users in the file, then you should see that there's going to be a different color and the name of the person should also uh, show up. Okay, so I haven't entered yet. So now that I entered, you should see that it's now entered as well in the local Excel file. So let's see what happened on the side of MS Teams. So for the MS Teams, it's also already updated. And let's see if I if I edit here in the MS Teams side, let's hang it to 1,200. And let's see if it shows up. Well, it's quite fast. Let's see them side by side. So we see how fast the files update. So let's have the MS Teams part here. So if I have here 1000, and you should see that the other file is showing that icon. And it's almost automatic there. On the other hand, if we have this one, Okay, let's use the web-based. So let's put a number here, enter. All right, almost automatic. So there you go. That is how you can use your MS Teams and share an Excel file from MS Teams going to either a local uh, Excel desktop app or the web-based version. So I hope you like this video. And if you have any questions, feel free to use the comment section. And also, if you uh, like this video, please hit the like and subscribe button. It really appreciate I really appreciate that. And that's it for today's video. Thank you, and see you next time.